We sincerely appreciate the generous hospitality extended to us since our arrival in Maputo, as well as the excellent facilities and arrangements put in place for this meeting. I also wish to thank you all, your excellencies, for setting aside precious time in your busy schedules to be here for this very important meeting at such short notice. This together with the fact that you have traveled from your respective countries during this very difficult time of COVID-19 shows the seriousness we attach to the issue before us today, the growing threat of terrorism in the region. It also shows our unwavering commitment to our efforts towards the consolidation of peace and security in our region. We all agree that the deteriorating security situation in the northern province of Cabo Delgado in Mozambique is indeed a serious threat to peace and security, not only in our sister country, but also to the whole region and humanity at large. In particular, the recent attacks in the town of Palma have recently demonstrated the magnitude of the problem at our doorsteps. These disheartening and indiscriminate attacks on the civilian population have not only resulted in the loss of many innocent lives, but have also exacerbated the humanitarian crisis, especially the need for the provision of basic services, such as food, water, and shelter to the affected population. The most affected in all these attacks are always the vulnerable groups, especially the women and the children. We will agree, Your Excellencies, that we cannot stay indifferent as our fellow compatriots in a SADC member state continue to wallow under the atrocious, brutal, and indiscriminate assaults meted out on them by these faceless terrorists. For these attacks are a clear affront to the Sadek vision of a region that is peaceful, stable, secure, and prosperous. They are an attack on what we stand for as the Sadek region. Our values as well as our collective desire for unity, regional integration, and socioeconomic development. In this regard, they call for our collective response in solidarity with our sister country, Mozambique, not only to restore peace and security in the affected areas, but also to bring SADC back on its development path. We should be meeting like this to discuss our development initiatives with a view to better the livelihoods of our peoples instead of spending our limited resources and time dealing with these inhumane killers. There is no doubt that the government of Mozambique has given it their all to protect the people and their properties. We therefore wish to commend them for these noble efforts, especially the armed forces on the ground who continue to work tirelessly towards restoring peace and security in the affected areas. We also the commend the government of Mozambique for the continued efforts towards addressing the plight of the internally displaced persons. In particular, the establishment of new villages where the IDPs will be resettled is indeed a commendable initiative to avoid the crowding of existing towns and villages, which are already faced with limited basic necessities such as land, food, water, and shelter. However, we know that this will be difficult for the government to sustain in the long term. What is clear to us, Your Excellencies, is that no member state can deal with the scourge of terrorism alone. Even the most powerful of nations on the planet have not been able to effectively address terrorism on their own. This is mainly because of the very nature of the scourge. Terrorism is not just brutal and inhumane, but it also does not use conventional methods of warfare. It has no regard for territorial boundaries and the sovereignty of any country, 
It has no regard for human life and dignity, and it prosper, prospers on human misery and despair. As such, there is an absolute need for an integrated and coordinated regional approach to effectively deal with terrorism. This is the main reason we are meeting here today. I believe that in our collective, we can successfully and effectively show that our values are sacrosanct and indestructible. That together, we can effectively protect and continue to promote our core values, and even more importantly, the sanctity of the lives of our peoples in the region. Of immediate and critical importance is the need for increased information exchange in the region, especially intelligence gathering and sharing. This is important, especially given the nature of terrorism, as I described above, among others. I am confident that our meeting will be able to come up with even more concrete initiatives aimed at ensuring that the scourge of terrorism does not find home in our region. Finally, may I once again thank you most profoundly for finding time to be here today for this extremely important meeting. I look forward to a successful and fruitful deliberations. I thank you sincerely for your attention.